Hi everyone, it's Eva Pieczek here from Abundant Results Coaching and today I have a special topic for you on discovering your life purpose, discovering the dream career, the dream business or a job that is going to give you not just money but also fulfillment. And I'm speaking to you from amazing country South Africa. I'm actually visiting Durban with my fiance Ridge and I'm also wearing earphones because oh my god guys the wind outside is just extraordinary so you would not even hear what I'm saying but it's still really really beautiful so I can't wait to go sightseeing and see this beautiful beautiful country and what I'm also getting present to is I am able to record this video being away traveling in luxury and comfort I am able to run a webinar with my clients tonight and actually enjoy it you know I don't feel many people think like oh you should be going on holiday so stop working I'm like that's not work I love what I do and I want my clients to be supported and today I would love to t share with you how this what you love to do can be discovered. I'm sure lots of you guys already uh, heard this, that when you work, when you love what you do, you don't feel like you're working. And I truly, truly support that saying. When I was stuck in a finance job, uh, which I was good at, but I, I just dreaded going there, I always dreamt about doing what I love to do that will give me not just money, but also fulfillment. And on top of that, I wanted to earn very well. I love good life. I love travel. I love luxury and comfort. I love spending time being coached by the best of the best Bob Proctor that costs money right and that's what I wanted so I was looking for this special something that I can do that will give me both what we call psychic income fulfillment and also monetary rewards that I was looking for so how do we discover this well there's three step approach to discovering your life purpose and really fulfilling career and fulfilling job or business number one you want to spend a bit of time maybe 30 days and every day you know uh, boil a cup of tea you make a cup of tea for yourself and sit down in a relaxed state and start wondering and write down three things number one what is it that you love to do even if nobody paid you what is it that you love to do and it might be things like I love you know I love helping people I love working out new gadgets that come uh, you know IT gadgets that are out there I love technology I love uh, communicating with people I love selling what is it that you love I love beauty fitness what is it that you love to do that even if people even if nobody paid you you would still do it that's number one then number two, what are you good at? So you want to write down your skills. Like, what are you good at? You could be good at communicating with people. You could be good at selling. You could be good at organizing, very structured, organized um, uh, you could be good at uh, researching things. What are you good at? Now, if you have difficulty with the second one, ask your colleagues, ask your friends, what do you think my strengths are? What are, my, what are the things that I'm good at? And then last but not least, very important question. How can you put the two together? What sort of career? What sort of job? What sort of business? What sort of, you may even have to invent something. What could be, um, wh what sort of uh, career path could combine the two? What you love to do, even if nobody paid you, and what are you good at? Start pondering on these questions. Now, you will not uh, receive the answer right away. It might take you a while. I would urge you, if you're someone that really would love to discover what you love to do, it doesn't matter if you're already in a good career, but you're kind of like, oh, you know, I would love something more, something that grows me and develops me more. Or if you're someone that have never had a career that would fulfill you, ask yourself these three questions. Give yourself 30-day challenge, and every day, with a cup of tea or hot chocolate, spend this evening and ask yourself these three questions and watch what comes out of it. Now, just last thing that I wanted to share why so many of us have difficulty with discovering and going for what we truly want. Well, it's called self-image. Before I moved to work with Bob Proctor, guys, and became a success coach, earning very good income, I did not believe that I'm good enough to do anything but finance. I, I was stuck in a job that was okay, I was good at it, but I didn't like, I didn't enjoy. And that's pretty much what I heard from my childhood. You know, if you want to do well in life, then, then go and do IT, finance, uh, medicine, and languages, uh, and so on and so forth. And I've tried languages and, and finance, and none of this fulfilled me.
I was meant to be stuck in a job that I didn't love. I didn't believe that there's anything else possible for me. But when I changed how I see myself, I changed my deepest thoughts about who I am, what am I capable of, how much is my work worth? Then I went on to become Bob Proctor's consultant. And today I've turned my annual income into a monthly income. And even on a holiday, I'm like, I'm just blown away, guys, with what this, what we can do when we change how we think about ourselves. So if you feel that you really would love to discover what you desire to do in life, that you get both job satisfaction or career satisfaction and also the income that you truly desire, a huge, like, you know, it doesn't really matter what you want, you can have it. And you believe that you feel a little bit stopped by the thoughts that you can, but that you may have about yourself, what you're capable to do, how much your work is worth, what do you deserve? Then I would love to invite you to upcoming self-image seminar or webinar, guys, because that will shine a huge light on this too for you. When you do not believe that you deserve the best, the very best in every cell of your being then you will never select the life purpose that is worthy of you, right? You are actually worthy of having exactly what you want, but you, your self-image might be blocking you from even discovering it. So if you guys find this interesting and would like to join me in November, we have 14th of November, we do event in uh, Dublin. And then 21st of November, we do a webinar, uh, for everybody around the globe. That's the beauty of this business that I love to do. So if you can join us, do. And I hope that helped you understand a little bit about choosing the right life purpose. And if you're up for it, then you will take on the 30-day challenge. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great week.